Alright guys, sorry, video cut out because I ran out of um, memory. So as I was saying, my comm setup, I use these Midlands that I got. A lot of guys on my team have them. Uh, if not, they have a couple other mics that will take this headset, headset style that I use with two plugs. This will usually go in a pouch or in like a back pocket or something. And this piece will clip right about here on my vest, so let me get this to clip to my shirt. Then it's just real quick, press, talk, to throw a mic. It actually works really well. I thought these were going to be, you know, a little iffy because throw mics, you know. I just like it because it like looks Secret Service style, you know. So press, talk, yada yada yada, they hear you, let go. This is a really good earpiece. Um, I can hear everything anyone is saying to me. I keep it on nice and low, and no one else can hear because this is like, this is like a freaking earwig. So, really like it a lot. Um, not positive of the name on this. I got this so long ago that I couldn't even tell you. So that is pretty much it, guys. Oh, show you my bags. This is what I keep my the backpack style or carry handle style. This is what I keep my G33 in. It's got straps. It has a front pouch right here. I always keep uh, dish soap, dish detergent. If you're ever playing airsoft, paintball, anything like that, or you have anything with goggles that you wear, this is a trick I learned. Dish soap, palm olive usually, you know, whatever dish soap you can get. Take it, put some on your glasses, take a rag, rub it in, but don't wipe it off. Just rub, keep rubbing it in until you don't see it anymore. And literally your glasses, goggles, whatever, will not fog at all until that wears off, which is like two games worth. I'm saying like two separate occasions worth. I've I put it on twice when I played last year and it, it worked out pretty well, but those flat flat goggles I use are very well ventilated. I even took out the vents they come with just for more um uh whatchamacallit airflow. Um I I figured I'll show you guys these real quick. These are extremely nice and very comfortable. These were overstock that uh, like U.S. military overstock that I believe Evike bought, and they're just awesome. This is the foliage color. I really like them. I think they look great. Two pouches, two zipper pouches here. Then I keep uh, locks on those because we actually had one time uh, a couple of guys were stealing people's guns uh, right from the, the staging area. It was insane. So I keep locks on mine. I usually even keep it in the car so I just don't trust anyone. So this is my big bag for my sniper rifle. Fit one gun in here. Got my little uh, e-bike dog tag and my uh, little shell on here. It's got two big pouches that hold a lot. Oh, this was from last year, I believe. Yeah, this was from last year's Bad Blood. So there you go. If you guys don't believe me, because for some reason. People on YouTube, for people that make videos, are all liars. I keep BBs in water bottles. It's easier to fill up magazines. These are .30s for my sniper. These are .30s for my sniper. Um, I got all sorts of different BBs. So that I think that's gonna cover it, guys. That and also here, let's just show you. I keep all my airsoft stuff in that corner. Next to my drums, I know it's a sad sight. I need to start playing again. Um, in tubware, and that is my airsoft shelf. It's got all my stuff. It's got smoke bombs, everything, <laughs> BBs, drawers for my batteries, chargers, comms, all that different stuff. And I hide them neatly behind those Chinese things. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, SSR knives. I'm sorry it took so long, brother. Uh, Bob, I'm glad you you wanted me to do this, I saw you play Airsoft, so that's really awesome, man. Um, if you guys are looking for something fun to do, uh, some sort of sport or workout, Airsoft is great. I would recommend it to anyone. Um, tons of fun, especially for us knife and gun nuts. I mean, where can you play where you light people up, you can run up on someone. Hold on. Where can you play where you can light someone up, run up, sneak up on someone, 
take your knife, stab them, and they're out. I mean, yeah, this it's plastic. It don't hurt. It, it's not sharp, you know. It's not going to hurt anyone. I'm not saying this because I want to kill people. You know, I'm going to get some asshole that's going to comment and be like, Oh, you're, you, you're a psychopath because you have all that stuff and you like to shoot at people. No, it, it's a game. It's fun. Um, so, I would recommend this to anyone. It's an awesome sport. Uh, tons of fun to play with friends. You get a group together. I, I got friends that are on my team from Staten Island, New York, uh, people from PA, Jersey. We all go to this one place. Uh, Godfather Airsoft and we play. It's awesome. A blast. And, uh... Yeah, you get really into it, so let me know if you guys want any more kinds of airsoft videos, if you want me to. Alright guys, sorry, I'm going to end it now. Um, if you want any more in-depth videos, reviews on any of these guns, or you want any more information on airsoft, you want me to show you like full decked out loadout, like what I am actually look like when I go play, that's fine, I'll do that. Um, any information on my BB guns, let me know. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to necessarily do shooting videos for you guys because we got the new vinyl fence outside and if I miss or something like that, it's going to just destroy the fence. Uh, it's going to poke holes right through it <coughs> and trust me, they will. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Any more questions, uh, shoot them my way. I hope you guys enjoyed and this is Matt Knife Junk 13. I'm out.